One, two, three, let's go. Oh, it's Lisa Daniel. It's Lisa Daniel. It's Lisa. It's Lisa. It's Lisa, it's Lisa Daniel. Something like that. Okay, so the first thing you're going to need is a sweatshirt. I actually thrifted mine from Value Village on their like end of the month sale, so it was like a dollar. You're gonna cut off the bottom, and we're gonna save this bottom piece because we're gonna use it to make our clutch. Then I'm just gonna flip my sweatshirt inside out, and I'm going to hem the bottom. Um, you're gonna hem it as wide as your elastic is, so my elastic is a half an inch, so I'm gonna hem about an inch. And you can fabric glue this, but I'm actually gonna sew mine because I feel like it just holds better. But feel free to use fabric glue. Some people don't feel like sewing, or I don't have a sewing machine, and so this kind of works either way. So I'm just using a straight stitch here close to the top edge of my hem so that I can slide my elastic through. I'm not gonna sew all the way around. I'm gonna leave a little piece open so that I can stick my elastic in. Um, here's my elastic. I got it from Walmart. It's just a half an inch. I'm gonna cut my elastic to the length of my waist, minus one inch. And I'm gonna stick a safety pin on one end of it and attach that to the sweatshirt so it doesn't slide. Put a safety pin on the other end of it and use that to guide through um, the piece that I left open at the hem of my sweatshirt. So because the elastic is shorter than the width of your sweatshirt, it is going to gather, which is what you want. Um, you're gonna continue to pull it through and grab the two ends through the hole that you created, that you left open, and you're gonna just do a nice little zigzag stitch across the top of the elastic just to secure it in place. Then after you trim off the excess, you're going to continue to feed it through close it, make sure it's flat, and you're just gonna use a straight stitch to continue closing up that hole. Okay, onto the clutch, which is optional. You're gonna just cut off that waistband at the bottom of the sweatshirt. And because there's not a lot of fabric here left to make a clutch, I'm going to add some of my scrap fabric to it, which I have no idea what kind of fabric is this is. I think it's like a quilting fabric. Um, I'm going to measure um, exactly where I want my clutch to fold, and then I'm gonna take my sweatshirt piece and find the fold line and match that fold line up and then cut the excess away. Then I'm gonna cut my extra fabric down the middle because I want my sweatshirt panel piece to be in the center. To create a really cool looking design, you can do this however you want. Then I'm just gonna lay my excess fabric piece on top of my sweatshirt strip and I'm gonna do a straight stitch all the way down. I've already done one side of um, the clutch purse, so here's me doing the other side. Now I wanna give it a little bit more of a clean look, so I'm just gonna sew directly on top of the seam that I just stitched. So now what you have is this long fabric strip and you're just gonna hem the top and the bottom about a half an inch folded over. This is also where you can add um, fusible interfacing to make it more stiff. Then you're just gonna fold over your purse and you're gonna stitch each side with a straight stitch. I didn't show you guys this with the sewing machine. It's basically the same process as before. You're gonna flip your bag inside out and you are done.
hope you enjoyed this thrift lift DIY. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Also, if you try this, I would love to see it. So hashtag LisaDIY. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.